Okay. So, Anna. Hold on. What? What happened? It's only 7 p.m. <laughs> Did, were you day drinking? Okay. What? His face is beet red. Go to the yeah. YouTube. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity to see Vinny Tortorich buzzed. Okay. So, here's what happened. Okay. Okay. So, uh, my neighbor Hank, and the, I'm just going to call him Hank, not his real name. Um, because I can remember the name Hank. I wrote it down. Okay. So <laughs> Hank, Hank is my neighbor. And he said, Hey, on Thursday, come on by, I would like to talk to you and a couple of the other neighbors about something. Okay, and Amway, Amway? No, no, Hank is a retired professor. The guy is okay. written, Oh, like, yeah. He's written like 10 books. He's yeah. One of the most learned, one of the smartest guys I know. He's in his late seventies, and the other guy he invited over is another professor. I didn't know this. I thought it was a okay from the neighborhood. I thought he wanted to talk about, hey, we got to talk to this neighbor about something or what have you. Well, I wrote to Hank and said, Hank, I can't make it on Thursday because I'm doing back to back podcast. Uh huh. Oh, Hank, Hank was not having that. Hank didn't get my message. Oh, okay. So when I was doing my podcast with uh, Dr. Stephen Hussey, he, Hank called me and goes, where are you? So I got through that podcast and I went, I got an hour before Anna, I need to go over <laughs> and, and just go see what Hank wants. Oh, Vinny, I would have just said, let's start earlier. And then you could have gone over there. Well, <clears throat> I got you told over there. me you had to do another podcast right before ours. Right. right, but right, in, right, fact, right, right. in fact, in fact, in true alcohol abuse fashion you chose drinking no i didn't know over that was, over no, no, your no, 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 friend no, I, I didn't know there was drinking involved oh i didn't know oh i didn't I know he wanted to talk I about no something. idea he told me a couple know. of people from know. the neighborhood just, uh, just coming just a over people he wanted to discuss mom it wasn't even a party it's just a couple people listen anna stop all he said was a couple, couple of guys from so the neighborhood happy. A couple of guys from the neighborhood are coming over. The, the were, inebriated hood? What'd you say? Guys from the neighborhood, Anna. Don't do this. Okay. I love I get, it. He's I get over there and, and it's just me and Hank and this other guy, Matt. Okay, that's his real name, Matt. Okay. And he's a professor also. So, And they're already, they got these, he's got scotches out, like a bunch of scotches. He's got your number. He's doing a taste test. Oh, God. He's like, oh, this is the meeting? It's a taste test? And <laughs> I'm talking expensive stuff. Why, uh, why wouldn't you immediately say, hey, Anna, let's just get on the mic and do this, and then I'm going to go to this tasting? I didn't know it was a tasting. I was waiting for you, Anna, thinking that you were busy. You, you're drunk. You, I didn't know it was a tasting. Right. I thought it was a neighborhood. He wanted to say, hey, the guy down the street is screwing up. We need to go talk to him. He just said, there's a meeting at my house with you and a couple of guys. I get there, and it's me, it's another professor. Tasting, and they now got, you're drunk. I got stuff out there that I've dreamed about having in my bar. Dreamed about. Uh huh. So you go, anyway, what do you think about this one? What do you think about that? What do you think? I'm tasting, right? I haven't eaten since eight o'clock this morning. Yeah, I that's long that's workout. what happens. So I haven't had a lot to drink. You need to have one of your nut butters. I don't have one here. Serena brought me. A, I ran in the house and said, honey, make me a quadruple espresso. And that's what I have here. Oh, no. I, said, I, 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 gotta want, I don't want you to life. sober up. I want you to keep this going. This ain't going to sober me up. Trust me. <laughs> I, I, I ran in the house. I said, Serena, just get me some. Get me some coffee. I got I got a rock and roll. You know? Um, I have never seen it. By the way, if you would put money on who would show up to a podcast buzzed between you and me, it would the, I would be the odds on favorite. Like it, it would. It's like when you know that a certain team's just going to win the Super Bowl. So it's not fun anymore. Right. That's what it'd be like to bet on that bet. So for the fact that you showed up to podcast, by the way, I've never showed up to the pod, podcast drunk. And now you have. I'm not really drunk. I'm just you're oh, knock it off. <laughs> I want you to own it because this never happens. You never get drunk. 
Well, you know, the great Howie Mandel said to me, never, ever, ever broadcast if you're drinking. Well, we've been drinking on the air many times. Yeah, but it's towards the end of the show and it's a half a drink. I was on an empty stomach. I ate this morning. I've done a complete I did. I went to I, I worked out here at my gym and I did aerobics. I'm right. You need to stomach. write a note to yourself and you need to say text Anna in the morning. My level of hangover. I'm, I'm not going to have a hangover because I didn't have that much to drink. And I have, but it doesn't matter. Uh, it can hit you if you haven't eaten. Yeah, you got to take I have your ultrasound salt. Salt here. I, I'm gonna yeah. take them right now, and um, and take a bear before you go to bed too. No, I don't take aspirin. I'm not gonna have a headache because I didn't drink that much. But the fact that I had nothing, you and... wrote in here on a little buzz, and I like it. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's giggling, folks. That is Vinny Tortorich giggling. I need to do this more often. This is the man who literally has. Maybe add drink a week. Yeah, like one shot. But hey, yeah. pouring some very special stuff. I bet. And I couldn't go, oh, no, I'm not going to have that $300. I know. A dollar, was... dollar bottle of whatever you have. That's what happened when John Dunn. John Dunn said a few years ago, I think it was <clears throat> Thanksgiving 2019. Right. The night before Thanksgiving. And he said, let's do a scotch taste test. Because he had just got back from Ireland and whiskey. He's the one who introduced me to the Red Breast, right? And he came yeah. over and I thought he was going to bring a couple bottles that he had got from Ireland. And he brought over three suitcases with 17 bottles. Wow. And he said, I'm not going to tell you how much they are or anything. We're right down. We did the whole thing. I literally had a, just a sip of each one. And I was fucking hammered. And of course, the one I love the most was the three. I was like, I like that one, Jock. I have more of that one. He's like, okay. And then later, he's like, that's the three hundred dollar. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. I would have. Yeah, that's what was going on here. It. it was like a sliver of each. bad. It was about five slivers. So yeah, on an well, that that it adds up. Yeah, and um, so there you have it. Um, I played Shania Twain for a reason. Yeah, you watched the documentary, didn't you? I did. Um, I, I need to watch it. I didn't know there was one. I didn't either. I just saw last night. I, I, I said, oh, let me watch a little something before I go to bed. Rivet it. Rivet it. Yeah. You know, now, as everyone knows, um, we we mess around with Shania Twain. I've never really known much about Shania Twain. I just I, I knew that she was the crossover. She was the first person to cross over from country and Western to um, you know, I guess, pop music. And she, right. was, the first, she was like country know, pop. She opened She's like before the Carrie Underwood and Kelly Clarkson right. and all. Yeah. And, and, and Swift and all that. She, yeah. She, yeah. she knocked down the door of something that. And I was riveted by this documentary. And I'm going to tell you why. Yeah. Um, and I talked about this today in one of my um, Instagram things, because I've been doing these motivational things, folks, on Instagram. And um it's all about motivation. Everything in life is about being motivated to do something. And, you know, we've goofed on Shania Twain because we play this stupid song on the show, you know, right. and I feel like a woman and we played, um, you don't impress me much. You know what? We've played it so much that I went from thinking it was corny country pop music to now I love her. So Right you're, now, you're preaching to the choir because now we love Shania Twain. Yeah, so I can only imagine what the documentary did to solidify. She, it. First off, she's in it, and she's narrating some of the stuff. The most down to earth woman. As a matter of fact, I have about twenty minutes left to watch. Gotta get I, Megan to get her on the show. Here's the deal: I didn't know that Shania Twain was as big as she was. I knew she was big, but this girl started off in life. She had a very abusive father. It sounds like yeah. a country song. Abusive right. father. She had a great voice, and her mom realized this when she was as young as like six or seven, and would take her out and wherever she can prop her up, she would go Shania sing. Mm -hmm. and she was in Canada, and she would Shania just grew up singing. I'm talking you. You know, we think of Shania as being this beautiful woman. She's just gorgeous, and now I appreciate her soul more than anything else. And folks, I know this is a fitness podcast, but we talk about motivation. We talk about what it takes to get there. 
this woman had teeth all over her mouth. None of her teeth touched each other. I, I didn't know she looked like that when she was a kid. She was not very attractive, just but had this golden voice, right? right? And ended up with this woman who became her manager, who was able to manage her. The thing that happened was Shania's parents died together in a car accident. What? Did not know that. Like I said, her whole life reads like a sad country song. And now Shania being like 21 or 22, had to take care of her two younger siblings. And she can decide to either become a waitress, but she figured out that she could get this job working on this singing review type thing, you know, this right on the stage show. And she became the standout there and just kept yeah. going and going and going. And at some point, got to Nashville. And Nashville was not ready for her. Yeah. So the whole thing is this woman sticking to her guns. And after she had that, uh, she had like three or four albums that didn't go anywhere. And then she finally had a hit. Yeah. Right? She had this one album. And of course, the record company, what do they want? Well, you need to tour that album. And instead of touring that album, she said, you know what? I'm going back in the studio. I got a better album in me. And that's when she is she a songwriter, her. too. Oh, yeah. She's a singer songwriter. Oh, I didn't know yeah. that. And she wrote all of those hits. And that next album that came out. I think there were 16 songs in the album. 12 of them became singles, oh including that never know, happens, man. I feel like, a, no, like she she broke records. Every record you can possibly break. She was breaking records. And then after that, she started touring and became one of the biggest touring acts of the, of the late 90s. But and she talks about that. She goes, you know, I just you know, I just kept taking chances. Yeah, just kept taking chances. You kind of got to keep doing that. Yeah. And, um, you know, let that be a lesson to everyone. This woman kept taking chances. Yeah. You know, and, you know, it started off as a goof because, I, you know, that song, man, I feel like a woman kind of I don't know. We don't even know how it ended up on my radar, do we? Anna? No, we were just playing 90 songs. Yeah. And she just came up and then that just became and then we figured out and then that it became Bill, our theme song. Yeah. And then we figured out that Bill Meadows hated the song. Right. So then, of course, you're going to play it. And I couldn't stop looking at Shania because. Yeah. She's gorgeous. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And um, as I said once. Um, so you think you're Brad Pitt. Yeah. That, yeah. Uh, Bill, you're going to have to cut this out. You ready? So, you know, she and by the way, she did a lot of, you know, she knew what the costumes had to be. She she did a lot of directing on the set. She this is a person who knew what she wanted. Yeah. Right. She just knew what she wanted and she went for it. And she, you know, look, look at where she ended up. Yeah. You know, um, so there you have it. And I remember, you know, not remember, I was watching this in the thing last night. A lot of times when she went in for these interviews, like early on, they were like, they weren't even talking about her music. Oh, my God, you're so gorgeous. I mean, look at you. You, you have the look, right? They weren't even interested in everything else that was behind this woman, which is pretty amazing. Right. right? And, you know, it's kind of the same thing that happens to Anna all the time. She walks in and go, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, that's so exactly. Talent, but you're so gorgeous. Right. You know? Yep. Mm -hmm. You know. It happens. It's a lot people. to handle. You don't, don't wish you to do be it. me, you guys. Yeah. But um, yeah, it, it, it was amazing to watch. So if you guys want to watch a really cool documentary. of What's it on? Monster, I want to say I saw it on Netflix. Can you look it okay. up? It was on Netflix. Yeah. Uh, we had we are getting caught up on Better Call Saul. You see, I, I that watched one that you like have, have seen. Season, go go I, back to it and start it over. Trust me. Really? Yeah. From the beginning? From the beginning. Unless you remember the first season. I, I remember the first season. Yeah. And I can start start it. start at second season. Cool. It's worth it. Um, let me find out where this document is playing. By the way, do you want to tell everybody why now you're mad at Dave Asprey? I told everybody a few months ago why I was mad at oh, Dave Asprey. Oh, we're gonna get into Dave Asprey next. But first while you're looking that up, folks, yeah. um, if you want to save money on ultra fat at nsngfoods.com, ultra fat, go to ultra nsngfoods.com. 
you could do this the first time. Buy all the ultra fat you want. You get a 20% discount by putting in promo code Vinny, V-I-N-N-I-E, no wimpy Y, ultra fat at nsngfoods.com. Even if you have a subscription, this works one time. Now, look, I'm going to teach you guys how to cheat. Let's say, you know, husband, wife team. Let's say Anna went in and did it on her account. She yeah, do it one which time, I do. And then Lauren can go in and do it one time. And then she could get her daughter, Lucy, to go in and do it one time. You could just do it over and over and over again and uh, make it work that way. Um, but it's, it, you know, go. And then if you want. Although keep them straight through. because I've had people do that. And then they write me saying, hey, why do you keep shipping stuff to me? And I'm like, because you have a bunch of accounts. But, but this is not a subscription. <laughs> thing. Just this keep them just... straight. And by the way, if you set up a subscription. Oh, I see what you're your... saying. Yeah. So on the subscription, if you sign up for a subscription, 15% off every single time on a subscription. So right. there's a lot of savings. So go do that. NSNGfoods.com, the ultra fat. Um, we, as you know, we couldn't keep the stuff in stock at the beginning. And um, now it's back I, in production now, because I got a but oh, I got a bunch of the mail and I was very happy. Big time. Um, I, I upped my machinery by threefold. I got enough of it. And I just went and set up and we hired triple the amount of people. We we're running around the clock. It's cool. a very popular product, folks, but you can get it. We we will never be out again. Why so, I did this, I don't know. But instead of subscribing to 20 of each flavor every two weeks, right? I do 10 of each flavor once a month and then 10 of each flavor once a month, but that's two weeks later. <laughs> I have two subscriptions. Is what I'm I, I have no idea. And I'm the one that I stack them. Like, you know how you stack CDs right now, by the way, we haven't talked about CDs in years because interest rates have been so low. Now is actually a time to open a CD for once again, because yeah. interest rates keep going up. So, you know, how you ladder your CDs. Yeah. So you would open whatever amount, 5,000. And then a month later, 5,000 This, of course, right. probably you have $5,000. And, and then you stack so that they keep maturing at different times in case sure. you need to free up the cash. That's how I feel about my nut butters. I want to receive. 20 God. nut butters every two weeks. But instead of having one subscription that comes every two weeks, no. I have well, you two know, subscriptions people, that come once a month, but they're staggered. School is coming up and parents can put that in the lunch pails uh, to go to school. Yeah. It's a very, very healthy treat. Oh, um, I have to tell you what I just did. I was just texting with my aunt who's having terrible gastrointestinal problems. Right. And she is... She she's gone in SNG and lost some weight and plateaued for a little while, but she's she's like having crazy. She has got autoimmune, like her organs are flipped upside down, like it's nuts, like what she's going through. It's really painful, and she can barely eat anything. And so we're trying to get calories on her that aren't tropical smoothie cafe because that's what she was eating before is uh. drinking those tropical smoothie cafes, right? And she just ordered a metric ton of your nut butters. I was like, that's perfect because it'll get calories on you. It'll help you feel full. It tastes really good. It's satisfying and it's basically pureed and you can eat it. So it's not just like a snack for like, it, it really serves so many purposes. I know you use it yeah. for endurance stuff. The kids put it in the lunchbox. Lauren uses it on the golf course, but then I could tell Diane, oh, I, hey, I think you want to go this home because it's it. something I, I you can actually everywhere. eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I was really happy to be able to tell her that there's something out there that she can eat. Dave Asprey. Um, so the other night I was finishing up my Twitter in bed and the whole thing. And I always go and check my Instagram to see what, if I have to answer anything there. And Dave Asprey pops up and I see the Chiron because I have the, the sound off because Serena's sleeping next to me. I get into bed after she's sleeping and I just want to catch up on my social media. And um, so I see Dave Asprey and I see the Chiron underneath that says, Dave Asprey wants to live to 180, 180 years old. Okay. Yeah. You know, I mean, all right. I don't know if I want to live that long. I, I don't know if I want to make it to 70 at this point. Um, <clears throat> but <laughs> I hope you do. I don't know. Oh, God. He's getting to that stage of drunk where it just gets really dark. <laughs> <It's just laughs> like, I don't know. I don't no, know if I want to make it to 70. I'm still happy. I'm not drunk, Anna. I'm, I'm good. Okay. No, you're fine. You're acting fine. You you are bright red. Yeah. You got that so, tip O'Neill red face. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's fine, you guys. Because I got to pee. Um, so at any rate, um, what was I talking about? 
<laughs> oh, Dave, Dave Asprey. Asprey wants to live to 180. Yeah. Great. Okay. That's, so that my, sounds like some Twilight vampire shit. I don't so know if you want to watch everyone around I'm you going, that you love die, but no, okay. I, I'm like, okay, now, I, first, you, 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 in your mind, you go, what the fuck? And then I went, well, okay, this is obviously a, you know, just a Chiron to get your attention. Sure. And right? and also the epitome of narcissism, honestly. Let's let's call a spade a spade. So I want to live to 180. Okay, well, think about that. Let's think this through. Anna, How is that going to be without Anna, your spouse? Write down, write down the term narcissism because we're going there next. Great. I would love to. Yeah. Okay. So um I said, okay, I got I gotta walk out of the bedroom. I go into the bathroom. Like like a guy looking at porn on his phone. I go to the bathroom and turn up Dave Asprey because I gotta hear it. I know you can't. That's the problem with uh doing the social media in bed and now Instagram is all reels and they just yeah. want to turn on the sound randomly and I get yelled at constantly because I'll go, Oh no, I didn't mean <laughs> I know. It's crazy. So yeah, I run into the bathroom like a guy that's getting ready to jerk off while his wife is sleeping, and right. I'm turning up Dave Asprey. And he's literally saying, <clears throat> I I have these vitamins. I'm taking these vitamins. You take these vitamins. I'm going to live to be 180. And I'm like, wow, he, because I've, and not, not me. I'm, I'm going to put Anna in this category too. We've been calling bullshit on this guy for 10 years. We said he was a charlatan 10 years ago. This By the way, good. I'm going to give you the credit there because I was like, I don't know. I like some of his products. But yeah. They're overpriced. And but, you know, maybe he's out there doing some good. And then you're like, my God, is there anything this guy doesn't sell? Yeah, the guy was a charlatan. He, you know, when he came up with that first, when, when he was doing Bulletproof Coffee before Bulletproof Coffee, you know, Bulletproof, you know, the, 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 the coffee before he right. came up with the butter coffee. coffee company. Right. I was like, you know, he makes up this whole thing about the yaks. hiking through the Alps. And no, it was through was the Andes, or not the Andes. What's it called? No, it Everest. Was it, you know, that, no, he had yak oh, milk. That's right. Um, it was yak milk. Yeah, yeah. He was like, I was from I, Mongolians or something. I, yeah, and blah blah blah. And I was out of energy, and I ran out of food, and I came upon a hut, and they gave me this yak milk, and it revived me, and I was able to climb to the top of the highest peaks and the whole thing. So when I got down from there, I went to this woman, and I said, "What did you give me?" And she goes. It was tea mixed with yak milk. And then I realized that yak milk is exactly like butter and coconut oil and coffee. And I call it bulletproof coffee because it made me bulletproof. Right. Folks, this is you know me. what he's not right. a charlatan at? He's what? a master marketer. He's very yeah. good at marketing. Yeah. And very good. I told Anna back then, I went, this is bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. This is a guy that's doing proof of concept. And he is pushing. And he tested the on the people. <clears throat> right. And he pushes. I think he believes it, though. I don't think he does. You, you don't cannot think. believe that amount of bullshit. You can't. You can't. So he he does this, right? And I was saying, look, there's, I, I told my audience, there's nothing wrong with drinking, you know, coconut oil with butter and coffee. It's not, but you can't make it a staple. It's not a staple. It, it's an energy drink if you want to drink it every now and then. It's but not wasn't he saying it was a breakfast replacement? He was saying all kinds of stuff. I couldn't even keep up with what he was but saying. Do, but but our, I, I guess I'm a benefit of the doubt kind of gal. And so I think if it's a breakfast replacement, you're not also having four or five eggs and bacon. You see, I believe in getting... You're not overdoing it, right? I, I believe in getting more macronutrients. I believe in getting more um uh, uh how you say uh uh <clears throat> proteins which are amino acids you want to get all the amino acids you're not getting that from just eating the or oil. drinking this right so yeah if you want to get by that's fine but i like to see a more wholesome breakfast right i want to see the amino acid profile i want to see that right so right. i called charlatan on it and then he went on to other stuff he was creating and creating charlatan Charl now he's saying he's going to be 180 and i went then i saw there was a lot of comments i went wait a minute hang on are people buying into this there's a lot of comments and i was more than happy to see that almost every comment i read was a derogatory comment 
It was, dude, you, all, you already look 180. Dude, you, you look like a lesbian. Dude, you look like... I was like, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. No one's buying into your bullshit anymore, Dave. I've been saying this for 10 years, and now we know that no one is buying into his bullshit. I guess you're not going to try to get on his show anytime soon. <laughs> you, you would never have me. Now, Anna, here's the thing. But probably because you, he would see you as competition. I don't know. He, we've asked to be on the show. He's turned me down. Anna, mm. let me ask you this. How long do you think you can vamp and do a Villa Capella ad? Do you have to pee? Yeah, but I have um, can I can that. I do an Eat Happy sure. Kitchen Spice ad because I have something new right, to you, present. You, all right, do that and then back it up with a Villa Capella ad. Yep, I'll absolutely. be back in about two minutes. And in fact, I want to tell you guys about both the spice mixes and Villa Capella, and here's why. Because I've been doing this thing, and I'm going to do it on an Instagram Live or YouTube Live coming up soon. And that is, as as I'm sure most of you know, because you order that, we have the dill ranch seasoning, we have the barbecue dust, and we have the taco seasoning. Now, my friend Nancy just wrote me, and she said that she sprinkles the taco dust seasoning on everything. She goes, I'm sure people have already told you this, but I put the taco dust seasoning on eggs, and then I pour the olive oil on it. And I was like, what? No, no one's told me that. That sounds amazing. Almost like a taco egg salad. Um, I use the dill on egg salad all the time. But so here's what I've been doing, because you can easily sprinkle any of these dusts on any meat and then throw them on the grill and they're wonderful. But sometimes you want a real even coating. So I've been taking uh, I, I slow cooked a brisket. I've done this with chops. Um, I've done this with a, a, a pork tenderloin in the oven. And I basically dump about a tablespoon or more of the spice mix in a bowl. And then I'll drizzle Villa Capelli over it. And then I'll take the baby whisk. Remember, you got to have your baby whisk. Got to have my baby whisk. And you have to um, whisk it up into a paste. And you rub that on the meat. So it's like really evenly coating it. And the oil kind of just makes it all kind of like stick and soak in. So you can do a dry rub and do it that way. Or you can do it with the Villa Capelli. I've been experimenting more with the Villa Capelli and I love it. Another thing that I love to do is take the pork chops and just um, uh, brush it with, and this is shout out to Schmaps, brush it with mustard, either Dijon or yellow mustard, throw the barbecue dust on there and then finish it with the Villa Capelli and throw it on the grill. It's incredible. So here's what we're doing now over to Eat Happy Kitchen. And that is we finally have the ability to do subscriptions with our spice mixes and you can do it up to like three months apart. Um, cause I know some people aren't going to use up the spice mixes that quickly. Some people, somebody just subscribed to the dill, uh, four canisters, which is two, two packs once a month. So good for you. I'm glad that you love the dill. So go to eathappykitchen.com and get, sign up for a subscription of your spices. And if you haven't tried the spices, get the three pack and just get that out. Right. It's always $5 flat shipping, uh, 10% off your sauce subscription. I'm sorry, spice subscription, also your sauce subscription, but that's not important right now. Cause it's summer. Everyone's doing spices. Now, to get the Villa Capelli to finish the spice rub, like I'm talking about. And by the way, Ola, I wanted to tell you guys about the brisket. Um, brisket. You could do just salt and pepper, or you could do the barbecue dust, drizzle it with some, I like to whisk up barbecue dust, Villa Capelli, and a, just a splash, like a tablespoon or two of the um, apple cider vinegar. So you're basically doing a wet mop on it of the bar. So you rub it with a dry rub and then you do a wet mop of the olive oil and the thing halfway through. You guys know what I'm talking about if you're smoking a brisket. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, go follow the, the Eat Happy Kitchen page because there is a whole thread about how to smoke a perfect brisket. And all of you guys have chimed in. It's incredible. But if you want to get your hands on Villa Capelli, which you do because it actually is in stock right now, go to villacapelli.com. Get your... Uh, tin, get the three liter tin, get the flavored oils, whatever he's got in stock, just order it because it's going to get sold out. Use the discount code Vinny, V-I-N-N-I-E. You'll get 10% off your order each and every time. And I just gave you the, you, you now have NSNG foods for your snacks. You got the spices, you got the olive oil. All you need to do is get the meats and the veg and you're ready to go. You got a whole day's, you got, you're ready to go. Do it. Welcome back, Vin. There you have it. What else you got, Anna? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know uh, you're going to tell me about Aberdeen Steakhouse. And then we're going to wrap it up. This is this is this is the Friday drinking show. Yeah, <laughs> I hope you guys are drinking while you're listening to this. This is I think you're going to need a little liquid courage to go over there on Facebook. OK, <clears throat> Aberdeen Steakhouse. What happened? OK, ever since I moved to this area, <clears throat> people know I like myself a steak. And um, <clears throat> I told the story on stage when I was in um, Austin. They, everyone kept, hey, have you been to the Aberdeen Steakhouse? 
I was like, no, it's like, oh my God, it's a great steak, wonderful steak. And the place hasn't been updated since the 50s. They got this, that, and the whole thing you need to go. Well, as you know, Serena was out of town for three weeks in England. And um, one night I said, you know what? I deserve myself someone else cooking me a steak instead of me cooking it for myself. I'm going to go over to the Aberdeen Steakhouse. So I go in and um, I sit down. Um, within a couple of minutes, guy comes over with water and bread. And I said, thanks for the water. Would you mind taking the bread away? Oh, no problem. Would you like anything else? No, I'll just wait for my waiter. So I'm noticing what's going on. It's like an old timey, everyone knows each other type of thing. And the waiter, I see the waiters working the other table. They, these are lifelong waiters. They're working the tables. Everyone knows them. They know everybody by name. And I'm really enjoying this, right? And then the guy comes over to my table. And he goes, welcome to Aberdeen Steakhouse. And said, that was, and thank you. And he goes, um, um, what would you like to drink? And I said, I would like a scotch. So he goes, great. And um, so the scotch comes, and then he comes back a while later, and he goes, um, are you ready to order? And I said, yeah. Um, I would like the shrimp. I, I see you have an appetizer shrimp just in a butter base. I would like that uh, for an appetizer. And for a main course, um, I would like, you know, the the um, <clears throat> the ribeye. And he goes, okay, which sides would you like with that? And I said, no, that's it. He goes, uh, baked potato? It, com it comes with the baked potato. I said, no, can you keep the baked potato? And he goes, um, we, we have the cream this, we have the blah, 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 that, we have the blah, 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 the, the blah, blah, blah. And I went, yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. You know, just to shrimp and the um the, the the ribeye and he goes oh my god i'm so sorry i noticed they didn't bring you bread would you like some bread <laughs> and i said oh he came with the bread i asked him to take it away and this is the odd part mm -hmm. he stuck his hand out the waiter and he he goes he stuck his hand out as if to shake he was like, hey, man. And I'm shaking his hand now because his hand was out. So he goes, because he was so impressed that you resisted oh, all the carbs. Or he, he said, is everything OK? <laughs> and I said, is that yeah. what you do? You shake someone's hand when you're worried that he they're put not his okay? hand, like, I think he thought I was going to eat this and go commit suicide I, because <clears throat> And I don't know what he thought. That's so bizarre. I don't know what he thought. I, I couldn't figure out what he was thinking. Does that make sense? Yeah. So he was writing down your order and then said this, 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 that, and the other thing. And he's like, no. And then he put the pad and away guy, and he's like, hey, man, do you need help? Hey, Listen, God he bless him. Help. He's reaching out. He was reaching trying out. Trying to connect. Like, making thought, sure you're okay. He's a good bro. Yeah. And I was sitting there going, when he walked away, I went, is Am I that weird? Does this seem weird? A scotch, some shrimp, and a piece of meat? Is that weird? And I mean, I would think most people have heard of low carb by now and they kind of know when somebody orders that. Not at Aberdeen Steakhouse. So then I started looking around. Uh huh. And I was like, because I started feeling, you know, it makes me feel strange. I've been doing this forever, but I felt strange. I felt weird. Did he say, what did he say again? Exactly. He's like, he hey, goes, man, are you okay? He, the hand out with, when he put his hand out, I had to shake his hand. I didn't know right. what else to do. Right. And while I'm shaking his hand, he goes, are you okay? As if he was asking me, did someone die? Or are you going to kill yourself after this? Or I don't know. He was asking me if I was okay. Did he know who you were? No, no, this guy never, I, from the age and everything about this guy, this is not. He was young. Topic. No, he's old. Oh, he, oh, these are lifetime waiters. Oh, I know, like that kind of steakhouse like when waiter, he, like maestros when he, and once, yeah. yeah, once he noticed that there was no bread on my table, he was getting ready to make head roll. He's like, "Oh my god, I didn't bring you bread!" And I'm like, yeah. "No, they brought it." I asked him to take it away. Yeah. And at that point, that that's when. So he walked away, 
And then I realized, oh, I looked at all the other tables. They're known for their side dishes. They, everyone else had twice baked potatoes, potatoes, right. cream, spinach, this, that, like carb, 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 carb. Right. It was almost like there was no room for the meat on everyone's table. And I went, oh, that, this is why people come here. They're known for the side dishes. Right. That comes with. Right. So I'm looking at all the tables around me. I'm in a position where I could see four or he five just, tables. He just thought you were ding dong for not ordering their delicious sides. Right. Right. He's like, this guy's obviously mentally incapacitated because he didn't get the potatoes. Leonardo yeah, he, he doesn't get what we're all about over right. at Aberdeen Steakhouse. Right. Aberdeen Barn Steakhouse. So then I started looking at the patrons. I stopped looking at the food. And that's when I got very, very sad and very depressed. Mm. These are all loving families. These are all super nice people having meals with their families. Everyone breaking bread together, literally. I don't mean this in any derogatory term. I was the only person of a normal weight. The only person. I'm looking around. I'm not going to lie. There was a couple. And they were probably in their late, mid to late 70s, about 10, 12, 15 years older than me. And they seemed to be of average weight. Mm -hmm. Everyone else, I'm talking the, the big gut hanging over, young people, fat. And like there was a girl, she had something that was kind of hanging off of her neck. And, and you could see the straps of the thing that was holding up her breast, the halter or whatever. And just. The bra? The bra straps? Like halter top, but whatever. Oh, like a shirt the, under the shirt. Yeah. The fat around it and the fat on her back oh. because her back was to me. And, that can't be comfortable. And I'm looking at that going, she can't be 30. She can't, this is not going. I'm looking at everyone and immediately got depressed looking at what's going on yeah. in the Aberdeen Steakhouse. And I'm the guy that they're looking at as the, the waiter's looking at as being the, the weird guy. Right. Right. And by the way, I'm not better than anyone else. This is not what this is about. This is about what I was looking at, what I was observing, right? I get it. Food brings people together. These families were having a great time, but to what cost? What cost? And this is not the only meal they're eating like this. You can say, oh, Vinny, it was just out Friday night. They were having a good time. Weren't you out having a good time? Yes, I was, and they were too. But this is not one meal a week. No. This is a lifestyle, folks. And this is where the problem is. Does that make sense? Of course it does. I mean, the, the problem is, is that we have so much tied up into our sugars and grains as far as emotional comfort, soothing, you know, having a bad day, bad family trauma, abuse, like you name it. People are using all sugars and grains to, to medicate that stuff and soothe that stuff. And... <sighs> That's why well, I say it's not just about taking the physical steps. You're going to have to probably start to address that stuff because it's deep rooted. Yeah. And the message is backwards. Mm -hmm. You know, we're getting the wrong message. We're, we're going down the wrong road, man. And I'm glad that people pay attention to this and, and they're doing what's right. By the way, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I put up another recipe using your dust. <gasps> I was just putting up an, I put, uh, if you look at my Instagram, I was talking about your dust. Thank um, you. And I want to call it because um, I yeah, think we got to call it. Um, have we you did it? Have wow, you this is your stuff. Yeah, I do. I did an ad for my stuff and I did an ad for Villa Capelli all rolled into one. We are good to go. OK, uh, you guys, you know that, that Vinny has the super fan page on his website. If you feel like you've lost a little bit of weight or you've made some progress or you just are happy that uh, you're getting healthier, consider going to the super fan page and donate a few bucks there. We have the old podcast episodes. You can subscribe to that. Vinny's got no, YouTube. Anna, can I tell you something? People have been listening to more of those because it's fun because I played the Fruitary and they were like, what else is back there? That's cool. What I like that. Back there? So it was a lot back there. You and I have done a lot of stuff over the years. I'm going to start. And, um, using, and you've done do, even more. So y'all should go back and listen to that. I'm going to ask Debbie if we've done Nutella mom lately. Maybe we'll do that on a Wednesday. Tan, is, is Nutella mom and Tanorexic mom the same episode? No, I, I think they're remember. two different two different episodes. ones. But yeah, we get he's got the old podcast episodes. Plus, you've got stuff up on YouTube. I've got stuff up on YouTube. We we try to give you as many free resources as possible. I have books. I have movies. I got everything. 
Yep. And then a few resources that cost a couple bucks. So yeah, go check thank it you all guys out. for supporting, go check it all out and um, close us out, Vin. Folks, you You've know, sobered up by now. I know you have. Yeah. We all go shopping on Amazon. Before you go to Amazon, go to vinnytotaries.com. Puts coal on the fire, gets my train down the track. We also have a super fan page. You can go check that out at vinnytotaries.com. We really appreciate it.